Boys and girls, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, InfinityCustomWorks.com, Gary Dean Detailing. So I'm going to go ahead and apologize in advance. I did not shoot video during the training. However, well, I did a couple of clips, uh, which I posted in my group on Facebook, Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. I am going to start a group for my Versa Coat 13 and Versa Liner. Um, those two complement each other very well, and I feel like it kind of it definitely gets away from the whole traditional detailing kind of thing, which is what the purpose of Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation is. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm doing is I'm I'm going to separate it from not necessarily Detail Juice, but from the detailing products, if you will. Uh, so. We'll only be talking about the detailing products in Detail Juice Nation and in the VersaCoat group, or Ver I don't know what it's going to be called. I will update you probably in the next video that I shoot. Um, <clears throat> I want to clean this uh, lens off real quick. It's kind of nasty. So as far as the VersaCoat 13 and the no longer is it called Infinity Liner. I'm going with the versatile theme. So it's Versa Liner and Versa Coat 13. So with that said, I did not shoot a bunch of video for the training. Unfortunately, I did not have help the whole time. So a lot of the time it was me here doing the training and cleaning the guns and all of that. But we, not only was I able to train some people that are really interested and I think are gonna do awesome with this product or these products, but we learned a lot too. And you, you will learn something every time you use VersaCoat 13 until you continue to use it and you just get to a level uh, in which you don't need much learning. So what I'm gonna show you now is what we did for the training and I'm gonna explain it all. And if you guys got questions you can obviously leave them in the comments below but here we go so here's a panel that obviously has some problems so this is a old crown vic hood and it was absolutely disgusting with pits and craters and all that which you can still see so Here's the thing. When it's this bad, when you when the paint and the body are really nasty, obviously anything flat is going to accentuate the problems below. So that's what we have here. Um, couple of things you're looking at. First of all, this is a this is a section that my trainees got almost right now what i mean by that is if you look at it you can see some tiger striping here but this half of it looks awesome even coverage uh, the gloss is a little bit better um, one thing i will say about this is we we sprayed the pearls on which was this this these pearls right here we sprayed them on in the versicote and it gave us this nice, like pinkish color. But when you see it outside, it's got like diamond flecks in it. So this is a panel they got almost right. And this happened at the end of the second day. So with that said, this looks really good. It does need to be top coated. So what you'll do is you'll put the pearls in your, in your base coat. So supposing your car is black, you put the pearls in the base coat, you'll spray a coat with the pearls in it, then you'll let that dry and you'll top coat it with just VersaCoat 13. And that will give you a ton more gloss. Um, what you're looking at is just the pearls in the VersaCoat 13 with no top coat, which is why it is a little bit muted as far as gloss goes. Um, you will get a lot more gloss as you put on um, another coat. And like I said, you've got about an average of six mil build per coat, which is pretty thick. 
Um, what you've got over here is just an absolute mess. And the reason for that is this guy right here. Wagner Moto Coat. That's the fine mist sprayer. There's the box. The thing is not good for Burst Coat 13. Period. Don't buy it. Not worth it. That's a $200 uh, sprayer that's going back. Uh, the other thing I don't like is this is like, uh, I think it's called a relief sprayer. Meaning when you turn this compressor on, this thing is always spraying air out. The trigger only works the fluid. So it's always spraying, I hate that. The other problem with this thing is that it just globs. So the sprayer is like a fan, okay? And where my fingers are will actually demonstrate where most of the fluid goes. The outside of the fan. The inside here doesn't get a lot of spray, which is why it's so incredibly inconsistent. Nothing I did, and I sprayed this with that just a few minutes ago, and nothing I did would make that stuff spray flat. Nothing. There's not enough adjustment on that thing. It just isn't a good option. So the Mo Wagner Moto Coat, bad idea. Do not waste your money. And I'm going to tell you, most of the spraying we did was with my conventional compressor right here, North Star from Northern Tool, there is the model. It's two horsepower, 7.6 CFM, 135 PSI, 20 gallon. This thing keeps up and works great. I highly recommend it. It's like 670 bucks on northerntool.com. The Harbor Freight McGraw, 29 gallon for 569, that is also another good option. So this one or that McGraw, make sure you have good uh, moisture filtration um, and we were using my R500s this gun in particular as a matter of fact it comes with this regulator you can get these guns on Amazon for $63 um, works pretty good this is the old version the A610 which you can see I have the two R500s I have another R500 in here uh, this is the spray it kit from Home Depot for 105 bucks. This same kit is on um, Amazon for 118. The cool part about this kit is you get the small touch-up gun, which is here. You get a regulator, you get an R500, you get the cup for the R500, you get a cup for the small spray gun, and then you get three different nozzle sizes. Uh, and that really benefits you when you're spraying the, uh, the metallics, which I'll show you in a second. Um, so you're going to get a 1.3, which is what I recommend you spray um, the VersaCoat 13 and VersaCoat 13 with the pearls in it with. This kit also has the 1.5 and the 1.7. The 1.7 is likely going to be what you're going to want for metallics. So I recommend that kit from Home Depot for $105 if you're going this conventional route. This is another kit, which is where this gun came from that I got on Amazon. It also comes with uh, all three nozzles. The A610 is the new version. I do have those in stock. I will be putting them on the website. Uh, they're hard to find. So um, I have 30 of them in stock, ready to ship. But this is the newest version. This actually uses all the parts from the R500, same nozzles, everything. So we were doing most of our spraying with the R500 and my conventional sprayer. I do have a 35 foot, 3 8 inch hose that I use. That was a Flexzilla, now it's all nasty because I do liner stuff. But that Moto Coat, bad deal. <laughs> bad deal it sprayed out too much stuff and it was so inconsistent i couldn't even overlap properly it was just bad deal it didn't didn't work well um something about this you see all these issues over there so before this was completely dry we tried to mask it off yesterday and they started to spray silver over there um so 
You don't want to mask until it's fully, fully dry. I would give it at least an hour or two before I masked anything else. I could definitely either sand or just polish all this out. I don't care, it's just a, you know, a practice hood per se. But this looks really good. I'm very happy with this side. It just needs a top coat, um, uh, one more coat of Versa coat, and it would be awesome. All right, a couple things over here. This is a carbon fiber panel I believe my buddy made. And a few weeks ago, I sprayed it with VersaCoat 13 and mailed it down to Fort Lauderdale for him. But when he got it, I had packaged it too soon and the bubble wrap I wrapped it in actually left spots all over it. So I'd, all I did was use my flex right here and I polished it all out and it's perfect. It's all fine. So that kind of stuff, this, this kind of stuff right there is what it leaves behind. And that kind of stuff right there, you can get it out. It's not a big deal, but don't mask up till it's fully dry is the answer. Now we sprayed this one a couple of different times doing a couple of different tests and I ended up overloading the top with pearls and then I sanded it with 320 which was a bad idea it was too aggressive just messing around I couldn't find anything else in my cabinet at that moment and I was impatient so I grabbed a 320 and I, I went to town and it left a raw edge and it was kind of light up here so then we went and sprayed it again and just got a little bit too more too much project product on it this is one of my favorite color shifts i'm calling this deep blue sea it's so beautiful it's a green to purple to blue it's actually what i used over here for the original testing that i posted on my group uh, we did work with this a little bit this is, uh, there's no clear coat underneath this. It was just that green paint. And I just sprayed VersaCoat 13 right on top. Good to go. Looks super glossy and nice. This looks awesome. I really dig the color, sh color shift. Um, one of the students painted that yesterday. And then before it was dry, he started wiping it down with isopropyl alcohol because he felt like he needed to prep the surface first. You do not. Uh, this is a acrylic based product. It's a polymeric resin with ceramic. So what that means is being an acrylic base, it'll stick to anything without having to, uh, well, pretty much anything without having to sand. So no, no key needed. So he wiped it with alcohol and it started to break it down immediately. So bad news on that. Um, this came out really good. He did an awesome job on this. This was actually coated three different times. So uh, the first time uh, that he did this, I actually posted it in my group. There's an 11 second video of, of my student uh, basically spraying this. And he did a great job. Uh, this is, again, it, it, it had been sprayed twice after he did it. And that's why it looks kind of funny because we were testing things out. but. Um, this turned out really good, um, and that's it, basically. He really got the hang of the color shift. Um, we talked a lot about overlap, because your overlap, your hand control, your distance from the panel, and your gun settings are really all you need to worry about. So, stupid glossy on that part. I did polish that to get rid of the dots that the bubble wrap left behind, very similar to what I showed you over here. Um, this was a yellow Dodge Ram Rumblebee bumper before we shot black pigment. So we basically tinted the Versico 13 dark black. And that's the base that you need when you do metallics or the color shifts. It's very important. So with that said, we sprayed a black base and you can see I didn't, I didn't go crazy with the pearls. It probably needed another coat, but um, we just did the demo to show what the, uh, the metallics would do. And it, I mean, the look is just phenomenal. This is not top coated with a clear coat of VersaCoat 13. This is just with, uh, I think two to three coats of the metallics and these are 0.08 flakes 
that's the size of them. So this came out really nice, looks awesome. You could tell we were able to completely tint the very light yellow bumper black and get that, that effect. So that looks awesome. Again, it needs another coat of Versico 13 on top. We didn't bother with that. We were just looking for the effect. So that's where we're at with that. Um, just remember, pearls can get a little messy. Metallics get a lot a bit messy. So remember that. Um, another panel we ended up dealing with was this other Crown Vic uh, fender. And this, I'm going to grab a towel real quick, but that fender over there, we did a couple of different things. The first thing that you see is that I did a color shift, okay? Let me tell you something. You see how... See how flat that is? It absolutely needs another coat of Versicoat 13. Without a doubt, okay? So let's not even talk about that. That right there, that flat, beautiful finish. Look, I'm not real proud of this, guys, but I'm happy about it, I guess, for you guys. That $50 gun right there, that a little electric spray gun that I got on Amazon for 50 bucks sprayed all of this fender. Now, I'm not saying that's a better option than the conven conventional compressor with the R500 gun that I already mentioned, because I don't feel like it's a better option. It is absolutely though a cheaper option. And the reality is if you go through two of those a year, you're out a hundred bucks a year. You go through, I mean, it's not likely that an R500 is going to fall apart. It's completely, um, you can disassemble the whole thing. You can clean it all out. You can do all kinds of things and they really last. Um, these are the nozzles for the R500. There's the needle, the nozzle and the air cap. That's the 1.7 kit. But uh, we also use some of the aerosol. Um, I'm working on a, a deal with a company that makes a, um, you basically can, you can add co uh, compressed air to a bottle with a Schrader valve and then spray it. Um, the problem is those, those sprayers don't have a fan pattern. It's just like a, um, just a straight spray. So I'm working on figuring out one with a fan pattern so that you can just use the regular Versicoat 13 and don't have to use the aerosol can. However, the aerosol cans are awesome for headlights and small projects. So back to this, look how flat. Not one ounce of orange peel, nothing. It looks awesome. I will tell you though, if you get this sprayer, I wouldn't put any less than 16 ounces in it uh, because it does not work well when it's running low. It will spit and spatter and all that. So if you don't have at least eight ounces in that thing, I wouldn't run it. 16 ounces would be the minimum I would put in to use it. Now here's the other thing. The front of that fender got only one coat of Versco 13 with no pearls, nothing. Look how stupid glossy that is. The pearls definitely mute the Versicoat 13 a little bit because the pearls are in it. When you go putting another coat on top, you get a lot more gloss because, well, you're adding depth then. So anyway, that cheap $50 sprayer sprayed that color shift and the Versicoat 13 on that side. So stay away from the Motocoat gun, bad news absolutely look into that if you don't have a conventional compressor and don't want to spend the a610 is going to be 125 on my website and you can get the r500 which is the older model of the a610 uh, you can get that on amazon i think they're on closeout at a lot of companies for like 65 dollars or whatever so just something to think about so just get that gun to practice if you want, but it, it really works well, it really works well. In fact, 
I might in, even end up using that on my boat. I've got a, I'm gonna put some pearls on the boat. I gotta finish stripping it off. I've got two products I'm testing right now, which I'm almost done. They've passed all the tests that I need them to pass. They're not taking on any um, dirt and grime and nothing and it works well. So anyway, I am gonna do my boat. I'm gonna re remove the Cape Horn uh, decal because I have versicoated over it many times already and removed it from there. So I gotta finish stripping the boat and then I'll be spraying it with a um, Ghost Shimmer Violet, I believe, in the Versico 13. Uh, where when you're looking at the boat straight, it'll still be a white boat, but when you look at it at an angle, you'll see purple. I might do uh, purple on one side, green on the other. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I really dig this. I could paint, I could spray this on the boat and it would look awesome. I probably would get a lot of jobs if I did that. It's possible. It's possible. I don't know. Anyway, so that's a little bit about the training. Um, we did not hook up the Mini Mike 5 Platinum uh, just because we had so much other stuff to do. And to be honest with you, everybody wanted to continue to use the uh, conventional compressor in the R500 because it works so well that I just went ahead and uh, didn't even bother with that. So this is a great option if you've got 1200 bucks laying around. If you don't, uh, you can spend much less and get the R500 and a 20 to 30 gallon compressor and a nice hose and be done. But that's it guys. Um, there's a list of things that you're gonna need if you're working with this stuff. I am gonna put kits together uh, for a complete car kit. I have, my pigments are on their way. I will have a full line of, of pearls and other pigments and that kind of thing. Solid colors, uh, all of that very soon. Um, I'm working that out right now as we speak. Sorry, I was thinking about something, but uh, so I have a line of pearls coming out. I have the Versicoat 13 is already available. Uh, you will be able to get the aerosol cans. In fact, uh, for my sale, the spring kickoff sale this year is going to be um, March 31st, which is this Friday coming up through Sunday, April 2nd. So that's going to be 20% off with spring 20 is the coupon code. And if you're in Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation, there will be four different buy tiers. You buy X amount of product, you get X amount for free. If you wanna know what those buy tiers are, go to Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation, submit a request to get in, we'll let you in there. Then you'll know, then you'll get to learn about all kinds of different things. But like I said, I am going to launch a group this week for the VersaCoat and Versa Liner situations uh, because they are separate, separate from detailing. So uh, check out the sale, get yourself some good stuff, lots of new stuff. I'll have more videos this week about the new products that, I'm, that I launched March 1st that you'll be able to save 20% on and get some for free with the buy tiers. So check out detailjuice.com. March 31st, 2023 to April 2nd, 2023 for the spring kickoff sale. And um, look, keep an eye, keep a, a good eye out for the VersaCoat 13 and VersaLiner group. I don't know what it's gonna be called, but I'll have all that information in Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation um, probably by the end of today. So if you need me, let me know. 813-846-4406 is my cell. And um, one thing I just wanna mention real quick, if you want to do a color shift and your car is not black, we can tint it black like we did over there on that, that bumper. We can tint the VersaCoat 13 pitch black. You have to put a coat of the black on, then a coat of the pearls on with the VersaCoat 13. Then you have the option of either leaving it a satin finish, so you can offer a satin offer um, option, uh, or you could put another coat of just the clear VersaCoat 13 on top and it will be a glossy option. So you'll need three coats to do a color shift in gloss. Two coats to do a color shift in semi-gloss. So, like I mentioned, check me out on Instagram. 
Facebook, 813-846-4406 is my cell. Let me know if you need me. Have a great day, guys. I appreciate you guys listening to me babble and get you some Versacote 13 because you're going to need it.